Uriah Smith in 1855. The work of cleansing the earthly sanctuary was a work of judgment. The high priest went into the most holy place bearing the breastplate of judgment and on that breastplate the names of the twelve children of Israel to make an atonement for the holy sanctuary and for all the people of the congregation according to Leviticus 16.23. This prefigured a solemn fact, namely that in the great plan of salvation a time of decision was coming for the human race. A work of atonement which being accomplished God's people the true Israel should stand acquitted and cleansed from all sin. But who shall limit the work of the perfect system with which we now stand directly connected to all the lesser details and conditions of that typical system of which Paul says there was no perfection. In the type a complete round of service of the sanctuary was performed every year, but the ministration of the heavenly sanctuary is performed once for all. When the last act, that of its cleansing, is accomplished, the plan of salvation is ended. The result is told. From that decision there is no appeal, for there is henceforth no more offering for sin, according to Hebrews 10.18. There must there therefore be a definitiveness in this work unknown to the type. Atonement was there made for the people of Israel as a body. Here the work has to do with individuals, for as individuals we must stand condemned or acquitted at the judgment seat of Christ.